we're getting near the end of fan season, so I thought I'd gather my fans that may or may not have been used this summer, clean them and put them away for the winter. Um, some of these were used, some of these weren't in the past season. But I thought we'd test the velocity of them with a little meter I have. Starting in the back, there's I think a 1985 Kmart K223 on the stand. And the row in front of that to the left, we start with maybe a 1992 Lakewood. I actually bought that myself back around 1992. I'm not exactly sure where. Then to the right of that is, I think, maybe a 1970s Manning Bowman 20537. To the right of that is a 1992 Toastmaster 4437. To the right of that is a 1954 Schwitzer Cummins WP-20. To the right of that is a 1966 Pencrest 9714. In the row in front of that, we start on the left with a 1957 Arvin 14-incher, the 7614. To the right of that is the 1980 Sanyo EF360 Turbin. And to the right of that is a 1968 Westinghouse AW15-1. And kind of up front is the small one, the 1950s Rex Ray. X500 from Rexall Drugs. So why don't we try and turn them all on and make sure everything's working before I even start this video. All right, 10 fans up and running on high speed. Looks like we're good to go. All right, I'm gonna use this CEM DT619 anemometer. I uh, can do a whole lot, and I could do more with what I'm going to do, but today we're just going to focus on velocity readings. Maybe sometime in the future we could do a volume reading or something like that. And I'm going to mount it facing, let's see, there's a little thing here. So I mount it like this on my tripod, and I'm going to try and keep them all about a foot away from the front of the fan and kind of in the middle so it won't be super scientific and it'll just be a reading but I'm going to try and do the averaging thing on this and see if it works all right starting with the Rex ray it's so low to the ground I can't put it on the tripod the vein so we'll try and just hold it in the hand and then look at our maximum reading later Here's our maximum reading in feet per minute. Let's check another fan. All right, here's Arvin. Max of 458, apparently. All right, now for the 1992 Lakewood. I actually had to offset the vein there because right in the middle it had some dead air. Huh? 
what's next. All right, here's the Toastmaster 4437 from 1992. Here's the Westinghouse from 1968. I want you to hear the startup sound on this one. I've never made a video about this fan. Someday maybe I will. But it's got an O2 cool startup sound. Well, there's some simple velocity readings of the high speed of 10 vintage fans, more or less. I'll have to go through and see who the winners were and put that in the description or someplace. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And maybe I'll do more thorough testing sometime in the future.